Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of so welcome to the start of the brand new Amy and Bridget Sims 4 series. This is the first episode. And this is just a general introduction to Amy and Bridget in this world. Now I'm playing as Bridget at this point precise moment in time. Now, when these two get together, They're going to call their mum names. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Okay. So let's swap over to Amy. He's going to flat out insult their mum. Oh dear. You don't want to do that, girls. What What's Catherine going to do here? Because she's angry. Okay, so... Oh, don't denounce your friendship. Now, obviously, you want to scold her because she's just insulted you. Yeah, Amy, that was very naughty. You do not insult your mother like that. How dare you even think of such a thing? You're trying to make orphans of you and your sister? Now, Amy, you want to apologise to your mum for what you just said to her? Maybe not. But you and your sister should be in bed anyway. And we're actually going to put Bridget properly into her bed. Because she was only taking a nap. So, yeah. Now the whole household asleep. We are going to call it here for this episode. I hope you enjoyed your introduction. Pardon me. Until then. Until the next episode. A hey, bye bye. Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of Amy and Bridget: The Sims 4 series. And here I am in control of Amy herself. Now, what should I have her doing? Oh, no, oh, there's Bridget.
Where's she going? Oh, she's going to see Catherine. Catherine's looking a little grey. Yeah, yeah, better believe it. Ah, oh, that is one good photograph. Okay, she needs something to eat. Of course, as a kid, that only limits her to quick meals. Oh, no time for that. The kids have got to go to school. Oh, Amy, what are you about to do? I don't think your mum would like being called names. All right, girls, you need to be going to school. <sighs> and okay. Catherine's gone to sleep. So that means... Okay. Unfinished report. When Bridget gets to class, she realises her timeline is due. The one she was supposed to start weeks ago. She eyes the stack of paperwork piling up on her teacher's desk. All she needs is a few minutes alone with one. Does she try to copy her classmates or confess the truth?
Right, so now it's time to find Catherine a job. Once she'll do a good job at. Okay, so she needs to actually write some jokes. Practicing music is something she can't do because it's not an instrument in the house. Okay, so that's going to keep Catherine busy. We are going to have the girls making friends because they need to. Although they should be studying hard. Anyway, I think we'll call it here for this episode, and I'll ask you to join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Sims 4 Amy and Bridget series. This would be the third episode. Sorry it's taken so long. And now let's see what these two little troublemakers are up to. And of course Bridget is younger than Amy by eight days. But let's control oh, one of the girls, yeah? Form, huh? Gazina, ah, <laughs> oh. We're no Blood of Lofa. Fredoy Yin. I think a sister's day <laughs> needs frightening, Bridget. Some wake oh. form, huh? <laughs> Gobla 
That's right. Uh, don't you dare. Why would you do that? Bridget. <laughs> Way to ruin a good mood, Bridget. Oh, okay. Yes. The girls are at school. But this doesn't mean they shouldn't study hard. Well, Catherine will be off to work soon. And no, she's not in a job I can follow her to. Seventy five per cent done on her daily task. Okay, that's her off to work. With only three quarters of her daily task done. Okay, principal's visit. Today, the principal is visiting Amy's class. Everyone is to be on their best behaviour and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Should she ignore it? Or ask the kid to stop. Wedding toast. Catherine has been invited to give a toast to her best friend's wedding. At last, a captive audience. Does she play it safe and keep the friends skeletons in the closet? Or bear all in the hopes of a good laugh and maybe even a gig. I think she should play it safe for that. Right, we are going to have her working hard. The kids are home from school and, oh dear, Amy's angry. Sent into the hall, being bothered in class is bad enough, but getting in trouble for it is infuriating. Okay, she needs to calm down, so... Let's put her in front of the mirror. Okay. 
<laughs> She's thinking about aliens. That I can't say I'm too surprised about, but anyway. You know, Sims can die from anger. We don't want that to happen to Amy. Which unfortunately, looks like it might happen. So we're going to call it here for this episode, guys. And I'll ask you to join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye. Hello everyone. And welcome to another episode of The Sims, Amy and Bridget. This is... Episode 4. And Catherine is now going to impersonate a celebrity for her daughters. Or one of her daughters. Oh. <laughs> Rainbow Stables. And Amy is going to be the Bridget is <laughs> to be impressed. Marco Gora. That's so Oh, that is great. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so both Catherine and Bridget are asleep. That just leaves Amy up. But she should be asleep too. Look at the time. And after all, it's a school night. Call that going to sleep? Come on, Amy. Oh, there's a monster under her bed. Or is there? Four thirty AM and you're up again, Amy? Really? Hmm. <sighs> what are we to do with you?
Well, there's hardly any point sending her back to sleep. <laughs> so, you may as well have <sighs> something to eat. What's the matter? Okay. These are your pajamas though, are they not? Bridges up. Right. Every day wear. Are you really suggesting I put a doorway there? Because it ain't happening, kiddo. Come on. Alright, you want to get dressed quickly, because you two have school in about an hour. <laughs> Nah, boy, Winka, cause you zupa. Zebna, chupa you, boy. Or no kanzi. Scoop, ah, Tanoba, Dror, Lasarek, Kasib, Zimaste, Lumis, Instadorba. Okay, Catherine's off to work in an hour. Shouldn't the kids be off to school though? Amy, you need to be going to school. Thank you. And they also need to do their homework if they want to keep their grades up. So, study hard for the pair of them.
Oh! Okay, Bridget is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words you are cute written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be the new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? It's pretty easy for Bridget to get the new boy alone since he doesn't have any friends yet and he definitely wrote it since he blushes from his head to his high tops. So now what? Bridget mumbles a sheepish thanks, keeping it a secret for now. And Okay, everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Amy wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was her friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Does she ask the friend or let it go? Well, that didn't go well. Amy only got a shrug for an answer, and now her friend's activity actively avoiding her. Oh well, who needs a friend like that anyway? Sigh. Uh, sure. Might um, she needs cheering up. your daughter round. <laughs> Where is she? She's not in bed. Okay, she didn't want Lily to come round. Why did she invite her? Oh. 
Promoted to open mic seeker. Catherine has been promoted to open mic seeker. She will now make an additional 13 simoleons an hour for a grand total of 36 an hour. She's also received the following 451 and Porky Pro business card holder. Okay. I think she should send Lily home if she doesn't want to talk to her. <laughs> and after all... I think she needs to calm down. So, I think Lily's going to... Can I go on? Yeah, that boring day got her promoted. Perhaps now she'll want to play with Lily. Well, actually, Lily's going to go home now. It was kind of a waste of time inviting her around if you weren't going to spend time with her, Amy. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. And with that, guys, we're going to call it here for this episode. And I'll ask you to join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye bye. Hello, everyone. And welcome to another episode of Amy and Bridget's Sims 4 series. 
This is episode five. And here you see Here we see the Sanders family getting on now. Amy, what are you going to do? Mm. Beggar for new toys? For new FIBA. Hi. Blah bar. Happy birthday. Talk about school with your sister. One new sharp wiggle. <laughs> War by him as a new Zobrinta, huh? Oh, God. Jay Beret. Gusha. Then a room. Four. Shady. Miko Bies. Ha ha. Lumba. Spoy Biba. Snurzo Diba. Fazu. Oh, yeah. Pork for Pork. Rone. Ah, yes. Don't yell at her, become partners in crime. Dag dag. Really? Oh, she lenuba. Snurzo diba. Fazu. Flora creezo. Shall we try it? Let's try pranking. Catherine. Okay, let's, let's go in mischief. Both of you, try pranking your mum. Maybe they need to devise a prank together first. Can they do that? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Plan to start a food fight. Plan to unleash the gerbil. Plan to sell test answers. Plan to barricade classroom. With water cups. <laughs> Plan to start a food fight. First, Bishi Fiziyama Sprata. Russia, jump up on the fish, Nila. Shuna, Pewa, and boy, Ishioi. You tore the mail, boy? The shoes got a part. Sombra, Bunkaru, Kanohi, me said a fish. Kashimi. Yeah. 
You been Seba Connect? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, um, Shady Bully. It might be fun to plan a prank with her, but I don't think Bridget's is very interested at the moment, Amy. Yes, Philip. I suppose you two should be asleep. <laughs> Come on, Bridget, you too, young lady. What about Catherine? She is a single mom raising two daughters. She doesn't need any more trouble than that. Anyway, guys. I think that will be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And join me for the next one soon. Until then, bye-bye. Hello. 
load up. Uh, let us play. episode ends almost as quickly as it started so we are going to call it here for this episode next one will happen very soon until then see ya